Welcome, welcome, as we're continuing on this topic, this also important topic, part four of do Christians have the spiritual authority to rebuke and cast out demons? I hope you have watched part one, part two, and part three already. If not, go back and watch them because we're going deeper and deeper into the subject, right? So we're going to expound some more on the term spiritual authority. And this time I'm going to give two biblical examples. So let's get started. In Acts chapter 16, we see that Paul had an encounter mm -hmm, with a demon-possessed girl who had the spirit of divination. Okay? I explained in the previous videos that you need to have a spiritual authority and power given by Jesus Christ himself to be able to cast out demons. And yes, Paul and the disciples had this spiritual authority and this power. They cast out demons, they healed people, they were doing it all, literally all. There was nothing that they were not doing. They were truly powerful, okay? Yes, they even raised the dead. <laughs> That's power, all right? That's power and authority. So now, in chapter 16, it says that Paul had an encounter with this demon-possessed girl. She was following him and, and Silas for many, many days. And literally, she was just working on Paul's nerves. So finally, he decided to deal with this girl. And he cast out the demon from this girl. Right? How did he do it? Let's read about it. Acts chapter 16, starting from verse 16. Now it happened, as we went to prayer, that a certain slave girl, possessed with a spirit of divination, met us who brought her masters much profit by fortune telling. This girl followed Paul and us and cried out saying, these men are the servants mm -hmm, of the most high God who proclaim to us the way of salvation. And this she did many days. So you can understand why Paul got tired of her, how she was working on his every last nerve. But Paul, greatly annoyed, turned and said to the spirit, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out that very hour. So here we see an, another practical example. Not only do you have to be appointed and sent out, given that divine authority by Jesus Christ himself, to be able to cast out the demons, to be able to rebuke demons and cast them out. But we here we see also that you have to use the name of Jesus Christ. When casting out demons, you have to have the power and authority to do so. And number two, you have to do it in the name of Jesus, right? But here are now, we have another account of the sons of Sceva in chapter 19, that they also tried it, all right? They saw Paul and the disciples and they wanted part of that action. They wanted to also be casting out demons in the name of Jesus. And here we learn another important principle. Not because you use the name of Jesus, right? It's going to work for you magically. No, you need to have the power and authority as well. So it's who, it's all about who is calling on the name of Jesus. And if you don't have the power and authority, then guess what? You can call Jesus' name from now till when he comes back. No demon is going to come out, right? As a matter of fact, they're going to turn around and give you the whooping of your life, like they did here in chapter 19 with the sons of Sceva. Let's read. Starting from verse 11. Now God worked unusual miracles by the hands of Paul, so that even handkerchiefs or aprons were brought from his body to the sick and the diseases left them and the evil spirits went out of them this is power then some of the itinerant jewish exorcists took it upon themselves to call the name of the lord jesus over those who had evil spirit saying we exorcise you by the name of jesus whom paul preaches also there were seven sons of Sceva a Jewish chief priest who did so. 
And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus, I know, and Paul, I know, but who are you? Then the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them, overpowered them, and prevailed against them, so that they fled out of the house naked and wounded. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You see, you're not to mess with demons. That's why, again, not every single believer, I say it again, not every single believer can go out there casting out demons because these demons are going to turn on you. These demons know if you have the power and the authority to cast them out. And if you don't have that, oh, the whipping you're going to get. <laughs> 